Hello gang, I thought I would do just a little bit of a prologue before um, this vlog post. This is for the Fibre Hut, which is just outside Evesham. Um, we weren't able to film outside really because it was quite a rainy day. But if you have a look on my other vlog, which is I think called Visit to the Fibre Hut, vlog four maybe four or three sorry I'm not quite sure um, you can get a bit more of a sense of where it is it's um, in the old Cadbury factory so there's lots of different um, artisan makers bakers little shops and uh, reclamation um, furniture shops things like that so it's a really nice place to visit so if you have time do pop along there and also I just wanted to say that this is by no means sponsored by the Fibre Hut this review it's a genuine review uh, we had a really really great time Gay is a fantastic teacher very informative and lets you understand the whole process of spinning and weaving so that when you get home and you go mm, I'm not sure what I'm doing here you understand why why your spinning wheel might not be working as it should be working or whether you need to change the gears or that it is um that it's, got, it's going too fast or too slow, things like that. Little bits and bobs that are really, really helpful. Things about the staple length and which fibres go with which things, etc, etc. So I would absolutely recommend her as a teacher, absolutely recommend the shop. Um, they're really welcoming. Dave, her husband, does a lot of um, servicing of spinning wheels and fixing of spinning wheels. So if you've got any issues, they can also deal, uh, deal with that for you. Um, yeah. I haven't had a chance to spin yet. This was, we went there in the middle of the week. It's now Saturday. So um, yes, having a full-time job as well as all the craft things I want to do takes up too much time. So I will be uh, uploading this vlog and then hopefully having a little bit time to spin and practice so you can see my progress in my podcast, I would hope. So yeah, I just thought I would stop in before the vlog starts to say a big thank you to Gay and Kim and Dave and their warm welcome um, and I hope you like what you see. I will see you soon. What a dark good morning. So I am here in my house uh, waiting for Carol to pick me up because today is the day that we go to Evesham for the spinning workshop at the Fibre Hut. So um, yeah, just a little bit excited. Like one of those kids, you know, waiting at the window. Please come on, please come on. Um, got all my stuff packed. <gasps> haven't got my drop spindle, I must remember to pack that. You see, it's a good job I made this little bit of a video, isn't it? Otherwise I would have forgotten. Um, so I will take you with, no, yes, I will take you with us today uh, and show you the workshop and what we get up to. We're going to be spinning in the morning um, and then weaving in the afternoon. Uh, I have never spun before, uh, only on a little drop spindle, and I should have done more of that. I'm way behind in my homework. Sorry, Gay. Oops. Um, so we're going to go and see the lovely Gail, and there's my husband. Oh, sorry. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we're going to see the lovely Gail and uh, do that workshop, um, and then do some weaving in the afternoon. So exciting times. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Here we are, we are nearly there. We're running a bit late. We hit a bit of traffic coming outside Cardiff. Carol is driving very sensibly, of course. Kind of. Yes. So we've had our coffee ready for the day, um, but when we get there, I probably won't film because we'll be getting to the five pack, so I will catch up with you in a little while. Bye.
Lovely colours. Gorgeous. It's a bit like one of those, um, what do you call those scope things that turn? Oh, like the kaleidoscope, kaleidoscope. things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, it's, when it's whizzing round, it looks a bit kaleidoscopic. And do you decide the colours or yes. you look into a plan or you no, just... No, I just go along and I just think, right, what colour shall I use? And I tend to put a bit of cashmere in or yeah. Angora, which makes it nice and soft and fabulous so they're mostly merino and then this is a bit of um gray suffolk yeah so just give it a bit more body right because uh, the merino tends to be quite soft ah. uh, but this is the first time i've done one on one of the big um card as I usually do on the <coughs> smaller one. Oh, so I'm going to try and get a 100 gram bat on this one. Oh amazing and there's the sparkle. So, and those are the sparkles. Oh. Yeah. And you sell them here in the shop yeah, or do you sell them you online sell them as well? Yeah, online and in the shop. Yeah. Excellent. So, yeah. Gorgeous. Luscious berries. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Gorgeous. So pretty. Like wooden signs and whites on them things and the <sighs> teenage ones. Whoa, look at that. Um, ah, it says, yay. Yay. And the grand maker here. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi everyone. See? It's night time. It's not night time. It's what, five o'clock? Just gone five? five? Almost five. And we have had the best day. It's very dark, but it's not very late. Our, I don't know if you can see our wheels uh, in the back there. <laughs> Tucked in nicely with the sleeping belts. Sleeping belts? Sleeping, sleeping belts. <laughs> it's been a long it's day. It's been a long day. Um, yes, yeah, so we did weaving for, no, spinning for the morning, weaving in the afternoon, and once I get home, and uh, over the weekend I will show you what I've done and have a bit of a practice. We bought some lovely fibre. It's been it's very good. cool. Just got to spin now. Spin, spin, spin. Absolutely recommend. Gay was brilliant. Really clear, really informative. Fantastic. And it's a fab shop and yeah, and Kim is amazing and created some lovely colourful bats as you saw. So yeah, all fabulous. Tired now. We need a cup of tea and some cake. I'm home. not eating anything. Oh, Carol's not eating anything. <laughs> no, no, not at this point. <laughs> okay, we will see you later. Bye. Bye.